welcome back to Wine Double Book with your girl K. As you can see by the title, we are reviewing Empty Vows. It took me a minute to just want to do this review. That's how much I dislike the book. Like, I honestly didn't want to do a review, but I'm going to do the review just to tell why I don't like the book. Um, this is the second book that I've read that it was a new release. Got it on the same day. Read the book. Boom. Disappointed. Second time. There won't be a third. I promise that, right? But anyway, before we get into the video, your girl is drinking candy vines. Candy vines. If you like red wine like me, then this is a vibe. But anyways, let's jump right into the book. So the first half of the book is just really rephrasing everything that happened in Miss Wiggins. Like, I kid you not. Like, I really felt like I was rereading Miss Wiggins again. Oh, you know, my wife... She died from a heart attack. Cole died from a heart attack. I'm really distraught. Um, I want to tell my family that I'm gay. I don't know. That, yo, I was just like, yo, what's up? When we get into book two, like, what's what's going on, right? So the coroner's people in the town. Everybody thinks that Maggie and Claude died from a heart attack. Recap: We already know that Maggie was trying to poison um my man Hubert, right? Because Hubert wanted to come out gay, and then you know, just go away with everything that they had planned. Claude ends up eating the gumbo, right? Boom. Dies. Maggie can't live with what happened. She eats the gumbo. Boom. She's dead, right? That's that. So, Claude is dead. Maggie is dead. Hubert is distraught. He's going through it. His son is dead. His wife is dead. But the real reason he loved Maggie, they was best friends, but the real reason my man is, is, is going through it is because his cover is now blown. I mean, well, not really blown. His cover is dead. Like, his cover story is dead. Like, you know, my man can't just be going out and doing what he want now because he don't got a wife at home, right? So, anyways, Hubert is now the most eligible bachelor in town. You know, my man, he works at the little, that little, the site. I forgot the works or whatever it is. And then he does, he's the undertaker, right? So, anyways, so now we all know Maggie's best friend, Jesse. So, Jesse been there for Maggie. Maggie been there for Jesse, right? So, Jesse now so is, is there for Huber. She's, she's cooking for Huber. She's cleaning for Huber. She's doing everything. So, people in town is like thinking that, you know, Jesse and Huber should get together or they're going to get together. And they've been spending so much time together that they think that Jesse was messing with Huber while Maggie was alive. So, you know, Pete, it's a small town, so people talk here. So, Jesse's just like, you know, I'm going to be there. Like, I know how he feels, you know, this, then, the third, right? So, Hubert now is just like, he's still destroyed. And his parents is trying to be, trying to get him back into the dating life because he's lonely. And he's he was going through his little um, phases, right? His little mood. So, his parents thought best that to set him up on dates. So, the parents start setting him up on dates now. And, you know, Hubert is just like, you know, I need to find someone that's suitable for me that can hold it down at home that's going to be okay with not having sex. Because, you know, Hubert of, um, is gay and he's never been inside a woman. He's never kissed a woman. Well, he's kissed Maggie on the lips, obviously. But, you know what I'm saying? He never had no emotional connection with a woman. He, he doesn't like vagina. That's what it is, right? So... Hubert is going on all these dates. I'm going to fast forward a little bit. He he goes on a date with a lady named Blondine, right? Him and Blondine going on the first few dates. So Blondine thinking like, yo, we going on a couple of dates, yo. Like, we, he, he really likes me. Hubert don't like her. Blondine, she's out. She's, she's a woman who's out there. Like, she's loud. She's ignorant. She, she likes to fight. Like, she's not his type. And he, she just would not be the most suitable um bachelorette for Hubert right at this time Jesse starts having a conversation with her sister her sister's like yo I get Maggie was your best friend but Hubert you know you gotta get Hubert at the end of the day he's an eligible bachelor you need a man you you feeling him go do what you gotta do go go put it on him basically right so now Jesse get in her head like yo you know I'm about to go off to Hubert and Jesse on top of that Jesse is friends with Hubert's um parents Jess, everybody believes that Jesse is just holy, sanctified, 
lady that she, you know, she's, she's God fair. I mean, she believes in God and I, I just don't see her character as being God fair. I do think she has good intentions and she's been through a lot, but I just don't see how the reflect the, the perspective that others in the book, the other characters had on her. I just, it wasn't, it wasn't there because she is a the individual like I, I, it will be a, a rainy day in hell that I as my best friend passes away that I go sleep with my best friend's girl my best friend's man like it's just never ever going to happen I, that wouldn't even be a thought so f the fact that Jesse thought that was okay I was just like trifling trifling ass trick trifling just trifling anyways so now Hubert realized, you know, Jesse is there for him. Like, she's cooking, she's cleaning, like, she's making little passes. And both of them have their own intentions. So, Jesse's intention is now to sabotage all the women that Hubert is dating so Hubert can recognize her. Hubert realized that Jesse is similar to Maggie and that, you know, Jesse will hold it down. So, he's trying to sway Jesse, right? Um, Jesse also hasn't had sex in years. So at this time, Hubert's like, you know, sis haven't had sex. We, they do conversation that they have when they together, when she's coming over, cleaning and cooking and all that. She, she, she basically stated that sex is nothing for her. Um, so Hubert listens to that. He's like, yo, like, you know, this is going to work because she don't care about sex. I don't have no intentions or care about sex. Da -da -da -da. So it's going to work out fine. But Jesse is like, yo. I'm growing cobwebs down there. I need some good D. That's what it is. That's what she wants. She's like, you know, Maggie told me all the times when they had sex and it was so good. So I want to feel what Maggie was feeling. So long and behold, you we all know Maggie was a notorious OG liar. That's what she was. That's like, Maggie, Maggie was a gangster. That's it, right? So she, uh, also, Jesse don't know that Maggie lied. So I can understand why, you know, Maggie's dead. Everybody want to jump at Hubert. Like, Maggie, Maggie really said that Hubert was, was thinking that thing. You know what I'm saying? And, um, but he wasn't thinking nothing, you know? So, anyway, so now Jesse's on that type of time. And I'm like, yo, Jesse, like, this is really your best friend, man. But you all of a sudden, you, you, you crying and you, you falling on the place. Like, my Maggie, 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 I miss Maggie, I miss Maggie. But you trying to get her man? Where's the loyalty? But it's a small town. I guess that's how they did things back in the day. I don't know. But, I was, I was, a, Jesse's trifling. You, you, as soon as you thought the thought, you trifling. I don't care what you said. So anyway, right? Pause, let me make sure. All right. So, Jesse had told Huber's parents that, you know, the prospect, the prospect of Blondine is a no-go because Blondine was stealing and she was doing other, other stuff, right? So, with that being said, I was just like, damn. So, once Hubert's parents heard that from Jesse, they're like, nah, we don't want Hubert with Blondie. We want, we want, we want some, we want somebody else, essentially. So, Jesse's doing her part. I'm just like, yo, like, she really, like, she going hard. Like, she, she's spiteful. And then she's doing it all in the name of God. I don't, I don't understand. <laughs> I just don't understand. But, hey, teachers old, right? So... Fast forward, you know, y'all know I have my notes. That's what I'm looking at. All right, so boom, fast forward. Y'all need to get into that. Da -da -da -da. All right, so long story short, we fast forward a little bit. Hubert um, decides that he's going to start paying more attention to Jesse, taking her out on dates, wooing her. So, you know, they start going out. Jesse's feeling it. But at the same time, you know, every time Jesse is feeling that emotional connection that she thinks she has with Hubert and she wants to kiss him, kiss him, Hubert dumps her shit like, yo, this, 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 I'm Hubert. This Jesse, right? So Jesse trying to lean in for a kiss. Hubert go on the cheek. <laughs> yo, I read that. That was that was actually funny part. That's probably the only part that I like. Anyways, so now the story goes back. Jesse wants Hubert. Hubert's not trying to give her no play. At one point, Hubert lies to Jesse. Tells Jesse, like, since Maggie's died, he's having erectile dysfunction, which e equals his thing, can't thing. Like, it don't get up, it don't work, it don't, none of that, right? So Jesse, Jesse's like, oh, damn, you know, 
how long it, it's probably temporarily you know you're gonna get him with maggie then we'll be back to normal so jesse still has hopes and i was just so annoyed throughout the book for the simple fact like like i said that half first half of the book is recapping everything that happened mostly everything that happened in in book one literally then the next part of the book is hubert jesse chasing hubert Hubert trying to chase Jesse. Hubert don't know what he wants. Hubert still, still is hiding himself. Hubert only so is selfish. He's only worried about, you know, finding another lover. Because, at, oh, yeah, I forgot to mention the dude that Hubert, Hubert was messing with in, in book one. You know, they had decided to come clean. That dude ends up telling Hubert, like, yo, I told my family, my wife still wants to work it out. I don't want to be with you. So he broke up with Hubert. So now Hubert is extra distraught. He done lost his wife. He done lost his son. He done lost his boyfriend. The man is going through it. But at least he still have a job, right? God is good. Anyways, so now that's, that's what the book was. And I was just like, yo, when are we getting into the good part? Like, when are we getting into the good part? I should also mention, because this is a key part. Well, not really a key part. It's just something that happened. In the book. At this time, there is a killer on the loose going around in single woman homes, African Americans, you know, and killing the single woman who live alone. Um, so multiple women have gotten killed, and that's that's just that, right? So fast forward. Hold up. Fast forward, right? Uh let me make sure I got the timeline right. All right, Hubert goes to the other town, Hertzville. In Hertzville, he, he usually gets a haircut by a barber, right? I forgot the barber's name. Um, long story short, why he gets his... He, he didn't go to the barber yet. He went to a, a diner, and then a, he met a dude, and the dude was like, yo, you heard about the barber, da da da, da. He, Hubert was like, yeah, that's my that's my barber, whatever. The dude, the, the dude said, yo, the barber is, is gay. He, he's funny. He's funny acting. Don't go there. So Hubert's like, yo, like, I've been going to get my hair cut. He looking good. So he funny. He funny, moving funny. But da, da, da. Hubert goes to the barber. He, he get his hair cut, but he trying to think, like, yo, I really can't see, like, my gator is not going off for him or whatever, right? Long story short, Hubert goes back to the place. He see homeboy at the bar. Homeboy kisses a dude, right? Da da da. <sighs> Hubert goes talk to the dude, whatever da da da. Like I'm staying at this hotel. Dude pull up to Hubert's hotel. They 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 they. they, they. Hubert gets the D, right? The dude gets the D. Like they they doing their thing, whatever. They establish that yo, I really looked at you, but I didn't know you was like that. Ah ah ah. You they like that. They end up getting together. They end up liking each other. So now Hubert's Hubert's really in love, right? Fast forward. Now, okay, so now, um, one night, Jesse and Hubert, Hugh, they were celebrating, what was they celebrating? His birthday or her birthday? One of them, hold on. His birthday, right? It was his birthday. They celebrate his birthday at his parents' house. Jesse tells him, like, yo, drink the champagne. You know, Hubert is a lightweight. He can't, like, little ass champagne, my man is, anyway, so Jesse tricks him into drinking another glass of champagne, Hubert gets lit, they go back, Jesse brings him home, she ends up, um, Hubert's trying to figure out, like, what's going on, right, so he wake up, and they close off, they laying in his bed, so Hubert looks down like he's naked, right, so, uh, Jesse goes, you raped me, I'm a little sore down there. Right? Jesse drugged my mans. Has through my mans. Right? She was like, oh yeah, I, don't, I, I think your thing is working because it was working last night. So he was taken back like, oh my God, like, <laughs> my innocent. He like, he's like, I just had sex with a girl. So then he's just like, I raped you. So now he's, Hubert is distraught. Distraught. Like, yo, like, I raped you. So Jesse's like, you know, it's okay. I'm not gonna tell nobody. Like da da da. Like I, you know, we we good, right? Jesse was manipulated towards Hubert, and I was just like, you doing every all of this to get a man? Like you drugged this man? You took his innocence? You don't even know you took my man's innocence? My man's innocence with vagina? And I'm just like, yo, she thought you crossed the line. You have crossed the line. Like when she did, when she she crossed the line when she started lying. When she started, well, when she even thought about messing with, with Huber because of Maggie. But now you really crossed the line. You gonna drug Maggie's Maggie's husband like that and take his innocence? Like what's going on? Like you, Huber is not an eligible bachelor like that. Like I'm sorry. 
so anyways now at the same time jesse works in the old people home right i forgot what is it called a nurse it's not a nurse at home i can't remember the name right now i'm sorry guys anyway she works with older white people you know they go there they they go in the home is it a nurse at home nurse at home and they die. So she does that. At, there's a dude that works there. I don't even to, you don't even need to know his name. He's he's younger, right? And he starts he likes Jesse. He's like, yo, I like older women. I like how you move, you cute, da da da. So now that um let me let me pause real quick. I'm sorry, I'm going on all a minute. Alright, so he likes her. He Jesse doesn't give him the time of day, right? So now Jesse's like, all right, you know, with Hubert's situation, she's just like, I'm going to milk this rape until Hubert gets with the program. So at the same time, Jesse decides that she's going to hatch a plan. She hatches a plan to tell Hubert that she's pregnant so Hubert could marry her, right? So a few days later, Jesse's like, oh my God, like I can't hold this in no more. Like this is a lot going on. She tells Hubert that she's pregnant. Hubert fakes. I would have faked too, like the fuck? So he's like, the first time she's like, yeah, you know my body, this and the third. I'm like, yo, now you you really, really trifling. God is going to get your ass, right? Anyway, so to avoid shame and embarrassment, Hubert marries Jesse, right? And now um, a couple, I think a month a month or two later, you know, Hubert and them tell the parents like, yo, uh, Jesse's expecting. They was like, so soon, you really got it in, right? At the same time, the killer's still on the loose, right? Just to keep that in your mind. So, sh shortly after, you know, Ma uh, Je Maggie. I miss Maggie so much, right? And he throughout the book, Hubert and Jesse kept saying, I miss Maggie. I miss Maggie, too. I miss Maggie, too. You guys are going to miss Maggie. I miss Maggie, too. Because goddamn Maggie would never do this. Never. She had too much class. Anyways. So, now... Jesse decides that, all right, I'm not going to show. I'm not really pregnant. What's, what's, what's really good, right? Jesse decides that she's going to fake a miscarriage. You see that I'm going through in this book, right? She fakes the miscarriage. Then while Hubert, Hubert is doing something, traveling back and forth again, at the same time, Hubert has a new boyfriend. He's ignoring, ignoring Jesse, thinking everything's fine with Jesse. He married her, you know, they haven't had sex. She, he feels like she's content with ha not having sex and she's going to be okay. Hubert's getting his, his, his thing in while Jesse's just like, like what's going on? Like I hope something changed. So Jesse decides that, all right, I got to pick a miscarriage. She gets chicken blood, puts the chicken blood on the floor. Hubert comes in. She's going, ah, I don't know how you fake a miscarriage. I never had one. None of that. She, I guess she know. She fakes the miscarriage. That's it, right? After the miscarriage, she's really thinking about sex. Like, her hormones is, like, high. Like, she her, she wants to get down, okay? That's just, there's no point in that, right? Anyways, oh, the dude name is Conway that's feeling her. So, at, because Hubert is not paying her no attention, she decides that she's not going to start entertaining Conway's um, advances. Long story short, her and Conway decide uh, decided that they're going to have sex. Conway, they, she was, her, him, Conway and Jess was supposed to go to some fair that um, she wanted to. Hubert canceled on her to go see her boy, his boyfriend. They go down by the lane because the, the fair ran, rained out. They have sex in the car. Now, Jesse Jesse finally had some sex. And it was uh, it was a young dude, good sex. Conway put it down on her. Now, they start continue having sleep. Now, they have an affair, right? At the same time, Conway is married. Guess who Conway is married to? Conway is married to Blondine. Blondine is the girl that was feeding over Hubert that Hubert wanted a couple days. Remember this, right? And I'm just like, what? And Blondine also has beef with, beef with Jesse because Jesse didn't lie for Blondine, and that's how Blondine ended up getting fired from the job. Blondine just don't like Jesse. She always she be coming at Jesse crazy, right? And Jesse just be moving like, yo, people, Blondine, talk, Blondine be talking like crazy. And Jesse be like, oh, I'm not gonna say nothing. I'm not gonna say. I'm gonna. I'm gonna say something, right? Anyways, right? It's been months. Her and Conway been having sex. Jesse realized, like, oh my gosh, like her period is late. So now she she thinks that she's pregnant. I'm like, how are you gonna explain this to Hubert, right? 
the, and then the book goes back and forth with Jesse, da da da, Hubert. You know they're not having sex. That's the same thing. Like they're not having sex. Hubert is happy with his with the boyfriend. This and the third. He's trying to figure out like how he's gonna really hide the the secret because at one point the boyfriend was like, yo, like uh, she's gonna really want to have sex and you should have sex with her just to keep her content. But Hubert is like, I don't want to have sex with her. So that's that. Um, fast forward, right? So. Then Jesse concocts a plan like, yo, you wasn't you wasn't giving me no sex, Hubert. So she lies. She doesn't tell him about Conway. She tells him that, oh, I went out. I had sex with a musician. He he's left town. I'm I'm gonna keep the baby. Da da da. da. So Hubert is like, oh, like in his in his head, Hubert has to act destroyed. But he's like, oh, like she's really having sex and okay. And Hubert's like, oh. Jesse, I forgive you. It's understandable. I wasn't showing you no attention. We could keep the baby. I'm like, what the fuck? Sorry for my name. I'm sorry. But I'm like, what? So right after Jesse told Hubert about cheating and being pregnant, blood starts coming down her leg. So I'm like, in my head, I'm like, you, you pregnant? You just lied about this. You lied about, you lied about that. God done took that baby from you. Hubert rushes to the clinic. Sis Perry was just late from stress and all that. She had a, she had a, um, she was going through pre-menopause, right? So she's like pre-menopause, pre-menopause. I'm like pre-menopause. So, anyways, the next day, someone tried to run Jesse over. So Jesse was like, you know, trying to kill Jesse. Jesse's like, what's going on? So she thinks it's Blondie again. Her and Blondie got beat, right? Then a few months go by, nothing happens. She, she and Hubert, you know, they still stagnant. It's still the same thing in the book. Oh, I want sex from Hubert. Hubert is still with his boyfriend. Like, at one point, the book just got so boring. It was just like, what's going to happen? Like, it's, there's no excitement in the book. All this dumb shit is happening, right? And anyways, Blondine comes back in town. Somebody tries to kill Jesse again, hit her over the head. She was unconscious. She went to the clinic, right? Few more weeks go by. I'm fast forwarding. Hubert and Jesse is laying in the bed, right? Guess who? Um, they they get woken up out of their sleep. It's Blondine. Blondine has a gun on Hubert and Jesse, and she's like, "Oh, you gonna pay for what you did to me?" Da da da. da. So I'm like. If you read the book, you would know, like, you probably in your head was like, what the hell? Like, why the hell is Blondine in the house pointing a gun at uh, Jesse and Hubert? Like, they went on a couple dates. Hubert broke it off. Like, just take your loss. It wasn't even that serious. Like, honestly speaking, in the book, like, she, Blondine was mad that she couldn't get Hubert and Hubert chose Jesse. But at the same time, it's like, it is what it is. Like, Hubert went on multiple dates. So, Je um, Jesse... Jesse is scared. Hubert is like, what's going on? So Blondie's like, oh, you, you, you let me on. You took me a couple of days. I thought you was going to marry me. And she crying. And she's like, Jesse, like, I'm a, you, I, I lost. You're going to lose. So all the while is going on. Da, da, da. Hubert rushes Blondie. Blondie ends up, um, Hubert ends up taking a gun or whatever, whatever, shooting Blondie in the chest. Jesse's freaking out. Oh! Hubert's like, and then it was an accident. They don't call the police. Long story short, they come up with the idea to um, take her body, strip her, make it look like the same MO from the killer that's on the loose, who's killing all the single women, and bring bring um, Blondine's body to the site where all the other women was found. They bring the, her body over there. Weeks go by. Um, everybody decides that, you know, it is the she Blondine got killed by the killer, the same killer. And, um, long story short, the book ends. Jesse still didn't get digged down by Hubert. Hubert is still with the boyfriend. Hubert still hasn't come out, um, hasn't come out as gay to his family. They, it's, it's just stagnant. The book was a waste of my time. I'm like, first of all, it didn't make any sense. You would have thought that Hubert really digged down Blondine for Blondine to pull a gun on them while they were asleep. Like, it wasn't that serious. I'm like... I, it wasn't even the sense that Huber was like, I'm, I see a future with you. Like, they went on a couple days. They had a couple good conversations. It wasn't nothing serious for Blondine to come up and be like, yo, I'm about to kill y'all and, ta and take my and take y'all life because you you didn't, you didn't end up with me. Like, they didn't, she didn't have no sex. You know, like, females go crazy when they get good D and it's like, yo, like, I'm not leaving you. There was no good D. 
okay? She probably, the most that she got was a kiss on the cheek and a couple free meals. Sis, chill, chill. What are you doing? Why are you acting like that? You making us women look crazy. You give, you, you didn't even get the D yet. You going crazy like that. You pulling guns like, yo, relax. Like she was only after he were for the money and he was, he was good. He was all right looking. He wasn't even all that. Right. He was all right. But anyways, like I said, that's how the book was. The story, it was just a waste of my time. Like that, if, if we, if that was supposed to be the twist, I was just, no, it just wasn't it. It wasn't, it didn't go nowhere. I, I, I really wasted my time reading this book. Like I was, the book was so boring. I took multiple breaks. I'm just like the the, the timeline. Jesse trifling ass. You were going back and forth. The the sign that like, I need a boyfriend is him crying about his 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 son and Maggie. The most of the book. They were capping the book. The, Jesse chasing Hubert. Hubert chasing Jesse just to to keep his story his his um his secret hidden. It was it was then the ending. I'm just like yo what? But yes, that's the review of the book. Um, I did not like it. Like I said, the book was boring. Uh, I, I was disappointed. There was no, 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 it wasn't a Maggie. There was no Maggie. There was no Maggie. Honestly, this book could have just been saved. You could have left it at Miss Wiggins. We would have been fine. Um, I just hope there's not a, a, a third part. Please just leave it alone. Just leave it alone. Um, yeah, so if you read the book, drop it in the comments. But that that's literally what happened in the book. Like, there was really no excitement. There was no ooh, no ah. Like, again, Blondie had no reason to try to to want to kill Hubert and, and think. It was a couple dates. It is what it is. Like, he didn't, you didn't get chosen. Like, for all that, she should have went after all the other women that Hubert wanted a date with. Uh, so, yeah. I didn't like it. This is the review um, I don't know what the next book review is going to be. Uh, I'll let you guys know on Instagram. But anyways, until next time, your girl is out.